In this video, I'm going to show you how I reduced the GLTF file size from 200 megabytes all the way to only 3.5 megabytes for this Spyrox animation that I made with Geometry Node. So first, I'll compare this animation from GeoNodes to Shape Keys to be able to export it to GLTF. I will do that by first exporting the animation to MDD, then applying the Geometry Nodes modifier and importing the MDD file that I just exported. Now when I export to GLTF, you will see that the file size is almost 200 megabytes, which should be quite difficult to work with. So let me show you some ways in which you can make it smaller. In the export settings, you can select what data will be exported. And depending on your animation, you might not need the normals, vertex colors, or the UVs. So disabling them will greatly reduce the file size. For this animation, I will disable the normals and vertex colors, then export. You can see that now the file size is almost 50% of the original. Armature animations are much smaller than shape keys. They may not be applicable in all animations, but use them whenever possible. In this case, this is basically particles animation, so I will use my method that I shared in that video to convert it from shape keys to armature. And now when I export it, you can see that the file size is only about 11 megabytes, which is around 5% of the original, but we can go further. If you go to the action editor, you will see here that the animation has some actions that are not used, and I don't need them in this case. So, you can export only the active action and export settings by changing the animation mode to active action merge and disabling export all armature actions. There is an option in the export settings for compression. Sometimes it causes issues, most of the time it doesn't. Here it won't affect the animation, so I will enable it. And there you go, from 200 megabytes to 3.5 megabytes. And let me import both files to show you that there are no obvious differences between the two animations. 